guys so today's tutorial is going to be using the new ColourPop just my look palette and I'm also going to be using another product that is pretty new to me I've only used it one time so it's very very new to me I should say this one is the LA girl pro color foundation mixer in the white one and I am so happy that one of you did recommend this product to me because my foundations were a little too warm or a little too deep for me and whenever you said that I did put it in my cart so thank you for recommending this product I don't know how to pronounce your name so I don't want to mess it up but here is a screenshot and you always comment on my videos too so thank you so much for watching and for recommending me a product and I love knowing your recommendations so it's very very helpful and this one looked so good yesterday and I'm just hoping it looks just the same today so yesterday I played with it and I mixed it with this one and it was per Fit. My foundation shade was exactly what I needed it to be. I can use less and less of this product if I need to. It was like the exact same thing but a little bit lighter with this one. Now I know whenever you're mixing two different ingredients together there might be a change so I don't know about every single foundation. What I do know is that with this one it worked out great. I did already apply my moisturizer and my primer. I used this one. This one is the Benefit Matte Rescue, the Professional Matte Rescue. Now it's time for these two products that I was just talking about and I'm going to be mixing them together. Together. So first I'm gonna get my hair out of my face. This one is the Dior Forever Skin Glow and I'm gonna show you the difference between what I'm going to what the foundation originally or yeah originally looks like and then how it looks once I mix it. So just to show you this one is without mixing anything into it. And that's how it looks. Now, I always try to make it work because I like the foundation and I feel like it will, the color will work for me eventually. Just, just right now is not my shade. So I end up putting it on my neck and on my chest. And even though I do that with other foundations, it's very hard to always apply it on your chest because sometimes it can stain your shirts. And not even stain your shirts, just rub on your shirts and then it looks like dirty or like your shirt is staying you know throughout the day so you can't always apply it all over your chest so that is the shade of it now and then i'm going to mix one pump of this so it was two pumps of the skin glow and then one pump of this one and that is how it looks it's pretty thick but it kind of it kind of not super thick it's kind of like the forever skin glow in thickness and I'm just going to mix it all together really good. I'm mixing two pumps of the Forever Skin Glow and one of the LA Girl foundation is what makes it my perfect match. Here it might look a little bit too light, but once I put it all over my face, it really does match my neck and stuff. Maybe I'll need to apply a tiny bit more of the of the foundation but look at the difference in the shade it all is going to depend on how much you need to lighten it so it's not always going to be two pumps of foundation one pump of this you know it's going to be different it just depends on how light you need your foundation to be to be <laughs> just going to oh i ran out of these okay so it's just going to depend on how much or how light you need your foundation to be so i was gonna try to take off that spot of foundation but I'm just gonna go over it and mix it in there because I run out of the makeup remover wipes. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this everywhere. I'm using the Morphe JH03 brush. Look, do you see how great it looks on me? It's just like a perfect match. I don't have to worry about it being too different than my neck and my chest. Of course, if I need a little bit more color to it, then I'll just add more foundation. But this looks so, so good. This is now a foundation that I can wear. And yesterday I wore it all day. And the reason why I wanted to try it is because, like I said, there are two different ingredients. And I love the finish of this one. I love the wear of it. I, and I like how good it looks throughout the day. And at the end of the day, it still looks very beautiful. Yesterday I tried it. I wore it all day. And at night, it looked exactly the same. So it, to me, with this foundation, it didn't change anything from it. Which makes me really, really happy because that that's what I need that's what I want it's like something that's not going to change my foundations but it is going to lighten them up a little bit but of course I still need to try it with other foundations and see how it works but at least now I know that with this one which is one of my current favorite foundations it's it works out good so look at how great it looks on my skin now and I have seen this foundation mixer thing um, on their Instagram I do follow LA girl on Instagram and it just never, I just never thought about buying it, you know. It was just like, okay, they have that, you know. Um, but whenever you mentioned it to me, 
thank you again. Um, it really clicked. I was like, that is so true. I can buy one of those. I don't have to. I don't have to wait or try to match my foundation and apply it all over my chest because some of them do match my arms but sometimes I don't want to apply it all over my chest it's just like too much it's like I'm I'm using it way too much like all over my body and I don't want to do that all the time so I decided to go ahead and buy it and I'm so happy that I did if you've seen other tutorials of mine where I use that foundation you can tell there is a big difference today and those other days Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to use this one by Tarte. This is the Shape Tape in the color Light Neutral. Okay, so I went ahead and I wet my beauty sponge because I'm going to bake. So I'm just going to blend this out, the concealer areas, a little bit first. And then I'm going to go in with the powder. And now for the powder today, I'm going to use this one by Too Faced. And this one is a loose translucent powder. And I'm going to apply it, like I said, with the, with the sponge. I always forget that this one doesn't come out unless I open the little plastic inside. So yeah, just like that. And then I'm going to take my wet beauty sponge and apply quite a bit on my under eye areas. So that way I can bake my under eyes. My eyes are going to be a little bit more on the simple side. No quick crease or anything like that. And nothing complicated, but I still want the rest of my face to be full coverage. And then with my big fluffy brush, I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm just keeping the under eye powder there until I'm done with the eyeshadow. In case I get fallout, it'll be easy for me to take it off. So I'm going to blend out this top part area. I did my eyelid area and I did apply a little bit of powder. But I'm also going to apply my primer. And I'm going to use today the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to stick this one all over my eyelid. My eye is twitching again. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's just like the outer part. I can feel it moving. So I'm going to go in with the light green shade right there in the corner. And that one's called Chances Are. And I'm going to use my Morphe M514 Small Blending Brush. And I'm going to apply this one on the crease. And then just keep it right here and go up slowly towards my brow very, very lightly. I kind of want to do a very, very simple, easy look. You guys have asked me for something easy, you know, more wearable. So I don't think I want to add too much today. You know what? I'm going to do something super, super easy. I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush. This one right here that I always use to pack on. And I'm just going to take... I'm going to take the light one. The same one that I was using in the transition area. And I'm going to pack this one on, on the eyelid. I'm actually going to use a dark shade on the crease and kind of like you know give myself some depth and do all that but I think this would be even easier and even more wearable so I'm gonna keep it like this and I really like this shade it's like a very pretty light green but at the same time it shows up like so so good and it packs on really nicely this one's one of the softest eyeshadows in here really easy to blend so now I'm just going over the edge right here with my same little M514 brush. I think I confused y'all last time. This is not by MAC. This one is by Morphe. I get these at Ulta. These are the ones that are about $8. And I don't even know if they're $8. Um, I'll put it right here though, the price. Okay, so in the inner corner, I'm going to use this one right here called Mary Jane. And I'm going to use my little flat brush. This one is by Morphe too. And this one is the JH42. And I'm going to take a little bit of this. And this one does give me some fallout, so I am going to spray it. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus for this. It was so cool saying that. This is my very first MAC Fix Plus product. <laughs> and I'm going to apply this one on the inner corner. I'm still going to use a shade on my lower lash line, but I haven't decided what shade I want to use. So there, I'm just going to leave that right there. I didn't spray this side, and I do feel like it looks a little bit different. So I'm going to take some more. Because when you spray it, it looks way glowier. Yeah, that looks much better. I'm going to use a yellow yellow um, eyeliner for my waterline. And I just got these with the order that I ordered. I just got these in the order that I ordered. <laughs> I just got these in the same order when I bought the It's the Just My Luck palette. And I got, both, I got four of these eyeliners. I'm going to swatch them for you so you can see them. I'm thinking of using the yellow one today. I used the yellow one yesterday, and it's very pretty. I also had a green eyeshadow yesterday, too. Um, and this is the yellow one, so in case you're interested in these, this is called Punch. 
And I got these because I wanted to try some new different color waterline pencils. This was the green one. I can also use this one today. I think it'll look nice. But it's just green like the rest of the eye look. Then I got this orange one. I do have orange, like a burnt orange from Urban Decay, but nothing this bright. So that's why I wanted to get this one. And I was going to get the pink one, but I instead chose this one. This one is a sky blue. So, so pretty. I'm glad I got it because it is beautiful. It's like a pastel blue. And like I said, I do have still some baking powder, which is going to kind of go away right now that I'm taking this off but I did get fallout and I'm gonna remove that and like I said I'm gonna use this yellow one on my waterline by the way these last a very long time and they glide on so easily another thing that I like is that I don't have to sharpen it I just twist it up and you're good super extra simple and I'm gonna use that same shade so pretty much I'm using two shades from the palette I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply mascara and then for mascara I'm gonna use the benefit roller lash mascara I really like it because this one makes your eyelashes look separated like you still have product on each one but they're separated and they're not clumped together and I also like the wand for it because it's thin and I can get really close to my root without poking my eye because I do that with very thick wands and then for a little bit of fun I am gonna use the yellow Colourpop mascara this is called yellow goodbye and I'm going to apply this one on my lower lashes. This one does have a very thick wand, so I have to be careful with it because I will poke my eye out if I get too close. And for my face, I'm going to use this TARDIS Pro Glow and Blush Palette. And I'm going to use every single product in here. The highlight, the bronzer, and also a blush. So I'm going to start off with my bronzer. And I'm going to use a big puffy brush for that. And there's only one in here. This one right here. And it does seem to have a little bit of a glow to it, like a sheen. And you only need a little bit first because it is pretty intense. And then I'm going to build it up as I go if I need to. And then for blush, I'm going to use the light one right here, which is right underneath the bronzer. And again, you only need a little bit. And all of these do have a sheen to it, so they're not matte, matte blushes. Oh, I just picked up the bronzer, didn't I? That was a lot. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you only need a little bit. Blend that out because I did apply a lot, especially on this side. I'm just going to take my powder brush and go over that. And then, like I said, I'm going to use the highlight that's in here. This one is my uh, Morphe brush. This one's the JH09, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. This, um, this highlight is a little bit dusty, so I would recommend like tapping it off. But the glow is really nice. I'm also going to apply this one on my brow bone since I don't have anything there on my head. And then I'm going to use this same highlight on my nose. And then before I apply any lipstick or anything, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus and spray it all over my face. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use a lip gloss today. This one is by Dose of Colors. This one is called Over the Top and it is a gold lip gloss. Right, guys so that is the complete look i hope you like it it's not only simple but also very very easy to recreate so far i am like in the palette yesterday i used these two shades up here i used this one for the transition and then this one in the crease plus this one on the eyelid and this one on the outer corner so i have used quite a few shades i can tell you that the eyeshadows look way better whenever you wet them they look almost the same but they give you a little bit more shine whenever you spray them with something and for sure they give you less fallout that goes for the shimmer shades and then the matte shades i feel like those are also very easy to work with except for these two i feel like these two give you a little bit more of a hard time blending them out and this one is the driest one that also it's a little bit too dry to pack on it's like not super even i haven't used it in a look in combination with other shades but i will eventually because i do like the color of it like a very pretty olive brown matte eyeshadow so i do want to use it in the look but um other than that the, the eyeshadows are working really nicely anyways that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i also wanted to say oh yeah i am really also liking the combination of the white mix mixing thing with the foundation so again thank you for recommending that product and okay now thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye